hello everyone i welcome you again to pharma guide in this video we will study why tablet coating is important and what are the types and sub types of tablet coating machines okay let's start so what is tablet coating in pharmaceutical technology coating means covering of external surfaces of the medicinal particles or the preparations for example tablets and pellets with a continuous layer of uniform thickness you can see here what is coating coating is just forming a continuous layer of uniform thickness on the external surface of the preparations like tablets and pellets so the coated particles or the coated preparations it consists of a core and a coating active ingredient is mainly in the core but in complex preparations it may also be in the coating for the quick or the stage drug release now why coating is important now this operation solves numerous biopharmaceutical as well as pharmaceutical technological problems and may also be used to control the drug release of the pharmaceutical preparations so what are the pharmaceutical technological advantages of the coating we will study first is protecting the drug from its surrounding environment particularly protecting the drug from the air moisture and light so with the aim of improving stability so coating improves the stability of the drugs second is masking the unpleasant taste and odor of the drug third is better product identity coating also provides identity to the product from the manufacturing plant through intermediaries and to both the healthcare worker as well as the patients coating also is handling particularly in the high speed packaging or the filling lines and in the automated counters in the pharmacies where the coating minimizes the cross contamination how coating will minimize the cross contamination due to dust elimination coating also improves the appearance of the product next is reducing the risk of interaction between the incompatible components coating is helpful in reducing the risk of interaction between the incompatible components how it is achieved this would be achieved by using the coating forms we can use the coated form of one or more offending or the incompatible ingredients particularly the active compounds coating also improves the toughness or robustness because coated products these are generally more resistant to mishandling like abrasion and attrition coating may also be used to modify the drug release as in repeat action or in delayed release or enteric coated preparations and in the sustained release products now we'll see what are the biopharmaceutical advantages of the coating now see gastrointestinal tract is approximately 8 to 9 meter long with a series of muscular organs lined with the mucous membrane now for the sake of perfect digestion of the food the residence time of food in the different uh, sections of the gi tract the ph level and the enzyme composition of the various sections of the gi tract is diverse so this change in ph it has a significant influence on the release of the drug stability of the drug and absorption of the active ingredients or the absorption of the drugs also so we'll see how coating is helpful in biopharmaceutical point of view first of all coating may prevent the esophagus and the gastric irritation some of the drugs may cause the esophagus or the gastric irritations so preparations containing uh, for example aspirin naproxen diclofenac these are covered with the enteric coating to prevent the gastric mucosa okay so uh, the enteric coating remains intact in the gastric uh, ph or the in stomach so drug is released in the intestine so the enteric coating will prevent the oesophagus and the gastric irritation in the drugs like aspirin naproxen diclofenac now protection of the active ingredient there are some of the drugs which get destroyed in the stomach or in the acidic ph of the stomach like penicillin erythromycin so these drugs are also enteric coated preventing disintegration or dis uh, or inactivation of the drugs in the gastric ph next advantage is extended therapeutic effect can also be achieved extended release dosage forms can also be made that achievement of the targeted therapeutic effect we can target any of the portion of the gi tract to release the drug for example dissolution at, at the designated point in the gi tract so targeted drug delivery can also occur drug release at the point of absorption increasing the bioavailability of the drug is also 
uh, an advantage then study ph independent drug release can be achieved by using the osmotic systems study retard release we can also retard the release of the drug by the coating for example in the extended release dosage forms achievement of the extended effect can be done a stage drug release for example in the pulsatile systems then coating also makes it easier for the patients to swallow the product so these were some of the biopharmaceutical advantages of the coating now what are the types and sub types of tablet coating machines coating equip equipments are divided into following three types first is a standard coating pan it is further subdivided into pellegrini pan immersion ward system immersion tube system next is perforated coating pan it is subdivided into acela coater higher coater dry coater and glad coater next is the fluidized bed or air suspension coaters with high pressure airless system or low pressure air atomized system now we will study all these in detail first is the standard coating pan it consists of a sub globular pear shaped or even hexagonal pan with a single front opening through which the material and the processing air enters and leaves this pan it can be sub globular pear shaped or even hexagonal it has a single opening from where the material and the heated air enters the pan and leaves this is the exhaust now this axis this is normally inclined at 45 degree to the horizontal plane and rotated between 25 to 40 rpm precise speed depends on the product involved now this speed is very important in these tilted axis coating pans the rotation speed has to be adjusted to provide appropriate blending of the tablets and uniform application of the coating solution because too low speed will fail to turn the tablets resulting in fractional moistening of the tablet cores and the tablets may lump together on the other hand too high drum speed will produce a centrifugal force the centrifugal force hinders the free movement of the tablets and it will result in insufficient blending or the missed tablet blending or even the irregular moistening of the tablet cores now the pan is 8 to 16 inches in diameter and is rotated on its horizontal axis by a motor the heated air is supplied supplied on uh, into the pan and onto the tablet bed surface and is exhausted by the means of ducts placed in front of the pan this is the exhaust and this is the inlet of the heated air the coating solution is applied on the tablets by spraying the coating material on the rotating tablet bed by using a atomized system atomized systems are used there this is the spray nozzle and the atomizing air the atomizing air will break the coating solution into the droplets this is the atomized system which produces a faster and even distribution of the coating solutions now in the tilted axis drums the tablets closest to the drum mantle moves in an elliptical course while the tablets in the middle of the tablet bed move on a more circular course so this is the drawback of the these tilted axis coating pans that the movement of these tablets is different okay you can see here the tablets which are uh, which are closer to the mantle they will move in somewhat elliptical order whereas the tablets which are at the center will have some of the circular cores okay so closer to the center of the bed smaller the radius of the cores the distribution of blow in drying air is not uniform in these devices as it reaches only the surface of the core bed with much slower drying below the surface and contingent dead spots there may be some of the dead spots may also be formed so the uh, blow in drying air is not uniform in these devices you can see here this is the tilted axis coating device with the drying unit this is the movement of the tablet cores in the tilted axis drums now uses of the spraying system or the atomized system the spraying system produces a faster and more even distribution of the solution or suspension reduces the drying time between solution application in the sugar coating and allows the continuous application of the coating solution in the film coating this is the uses of the atomized systems now the uh, the drying efficiency can be improved in the standard coating pans how first we will see 
how drying efficiency is improved in the pellegrini pan now this system has a buffered pan and a diffuser that dif distributes the drying air uniformly over the tablet bed and surface you can see here this is a uh, this is a diffuser and this will distribute the heated air uniformly over the tablet bed and the waffles are also in uh, installed this installing buffer plate results in more over uh, more through overturning of the tablet core bed this buffer results in more overturning of the tablets or more even blending of the tablets so the coating is also uniform and the drying efficiency is also improved the immersion sword system in this system the drying air is introduced through a perforated metal sword you can see here this is the perforated metal sword and this is immersed in the tablet bed this is the inlet for the heated air and this is the exhaust pipe next is the immersion tube system in this system the tube is also immersed in the tablet bed and the tube delivers the heated air and the spray nozzle is built at the tip of the tube it also has tip of the tube and this is the inlet for the heated air and this is the exhaust pipe now the perforated pan systems in this all type of equipment consist of the perforated or partially perforated drums that is rotated on its horizontal axis in an enclosed housing so now as compared to the standard coating pan these has the pans which are uh, which are rotated in the horizontal axis whereas the uh, standard coating pan were tilted somewhat tilted they are not uh, these perforated coating pans these are not tilted and they have a enclosed housing where uh, and also the drums has the perforated plates or the drums are partially perforated the coating solution is applied to the surface of the rotating bed of the tablets through spraying nozzles these spraying nozzles are present inside the drum only the perforated pan coater are efficient drying systems with high coating capacity now you can see what is the difference between the air configuration in the standard coating pan and these perforated coating pans this in this pellegrini pan there was a single opening for the inlet and exhaust of the air whereas in these perforated coating pans the inlet air or the heated air will come from one pipe it will go through the bed tablet bed and exhaust is from uh, it will go through these perforations on the drum and exhaust is on the other side so the heated air passes completely through the tablet bed increasing or enhancing the drying efficiency these are the perforated drums it has uh, and this dry coater it has perforated ribs and exhaust is from the center or back of the pan now you can see here warm air is coming this is the perforated plate these are the spraying nozzle which are in the enclosed housing and the, the out air outlet is from the uh, other side of the perforations okay now you can see here in these uh, horizontal axis drums the movement of the tablet bed is identical all the tablets will move in somewhat elliptical course whereas in the standard coating pan there was difference in the standard coating pan the tablets at closure to the mantle were moving in the elliptical order whereas in the center they they were moving in somewhat circular order but in this horizontal axis pens all the tablets have similar movement somewhat elliptical movement next is the acela kota and high kota system in these equipments the drying air is directed into the drum it passes through the tablet bed and is exhausted through the perforations in the drum you can see here this is the inlet for the heated air heated air will come it will go through the tablet bed and uh, these are, uh, the drum is perforated the exhaust the uh, air will pass through it heated air it will take along the moisture also with it okay so the this is the exhaust air the heated air will pass through the tablet bed will be connect will be collected here and go through the exhaust port so this exhaust air is also taking away the air moisture with it it increases the what drying efficiency also this is the acela coater this is higher coater in this higher coater you will see this is the inlet for the heated air heated air will pass through the tablet bed it will go along uh, through the perforations in the drum and it will go out through this exhaust next is dry coater system 
okay it introduces drying air through hollow perforated ribs these are the hollow perforated ribs inside the periphery of the drum these ribs are dip into the tablet bed as the pan rotates so these ribs will dip into the this tablet bed as the drum or the pan rotates drying air passes up and fluidizes the tablets drying air will pass up here and it will cause partial fluidization of the tablets exhaust is from the back of the pan so this is the exhaust heated air will come in through these hollow ribs it will cause the fluidization of the tablet bed and hot air it will go back uh, or the exhaust is at the back of the pan next is the glad coater glad coater is the latest perforated pan coater to be introduced into the industry the glad coater drying can be directed from inside the drum through the tablet bed and out an exhaust duct this is the normal procedure that the heated air will come from one duct it will go through the tablet bed and it will be it will go out from the other exhaust duct alternatively alternatively with an optional split chambered plenum there uh, there is a split chambered plenum which will direct the drying air in the reverse manner so the drying air can be directed in the reverse manner up through the drum perforations for the partial fluidization of the tablet bed so several air flow configurations are possible in the glad coater now in normally in these uh, perforated coating pens you will see that the tablet uh, you will see the basic principle is the heated air is coming from one duct it is passing through the tablet bed and is and it is going out through the exhaust duct so this way the blown in drying air can pass through the core bed making the drying more uniform with the air leaving through the perforated mantle of the drum it will carry the this uh, leaving air it will carry along the moisture vapors so the drying is more uniform and more efficient now fluidized bed or the air suspension coaters the fluid bed process or perhaps more appropriately air suspension process has also been applied to coating of the pharmaceutical solids this is called the wester process now this is the wester design the these uh, fluidized bed coaters it can be top spray it can be bottom spray or it can be tangential spray also tangential spray this bottom is spray with this wester tube this is called the wester design and this wester design is mainly used for coating the tablets and this des design consists of a coating chamber inner partition diameter of which is approximately 50% of the coating chamber then an air distribution plate this is the air distribution base plate which has holes with the larger diameter holes in the center larger diameter holes are at the center than those of the periphery then a spray nozzle is located at the center of the air distribution plate this is the spray nozzle system okay so now the uniformity of the coating can be significantly enhanced by using this wester adapter this is a vertical pipe installed in the axis of the spring okay at a small distance above the base plate that forces the flow of the particles this will this tube will maintain the flow of the particles okay into an controlled recurring inescapable path this will control the path of the tablets so the coating uniformity of the uh, coating uniformity is much enhanced by using this wester tube Okay during the operation the fluidizing air causes the product being coated to accelerate rapidly up through the inner partition which defines the spray zone this is the inner partition fluidizing air is coming from here this fluidizing air will cause the product or the tablets to accelerate up rapidly and the tablets will pass through the spray zone then deacceleration occurs in the region of the expansion chamber then the deacceleration will occur here and the product will fall down again here so deacceleration de occurs in the region of the expansion chamber causing the product to drop back into the coating chamber into the region confined by the walls of the chamber and the insert the product moves quickly down to the bottom of the coating chamber where the cycle begins again so the fluidizing air will causes the particle 
or the tablets to accelerate up in the inner partition chamber here is the spray zone so the tablets will come in contact with the uh, coating solution the coated tablets will then deaccelerate here they will go back and the cycle will run like this till the uniform coating of the tablets the coating solution are continuously applied from the spray nozzle this is the spray nozzle the product coated in the Worcester process is typically characterized by uniform distribution of the coating with the high gloss additionally the process in itself exhibits excellent drying characteristics longer expansion chamber is used to coat the smaller particles this expansion chamber is longer for the powders than as compared to the granules and then the tablets for the tablets a shorter chamber is used if the granules are coated then little bit longer chamber and for the powders a longer expansion chamber is used now we will see how coating is done in the fluidized bed coaters first first of all charging is done charging means loading the tablets in the coating uh, in the this chamber these are the complete tablets are or the particles are loaded completely then air stream is on this is the movement of what fluidizing air air stream is on now here is the base plate or the bottom plate you can see here this is how bottom plate looks like it has larger holes at the center as compared to the periphery okay so this fluidizing air this will cause the product to move in a circular path and when the spray is on this fluidizing air will cause uh, the acceleration of the tablets up and the tablets will pass through the spray zone they will get coated and they will come back to this region again so they will move in a circular path so these are the droplets of the coating solution this is how the coating takes place till the uniform the tablets will move in the circular path till the uniform coating is done okay this is the uniformly coated particle and when the coating is complete when the uh, uniform coating is done then the tablets of the particles are discharged so this is the complete process how the coating takes place in the fluidized bed coaters now two types of systems are used to apply the finely divided spray coating solutions or the suspensions onto the tablets first is the high pressure airless system okay there is no atomizing air only liquid is feed so this is the high pressure airless system in this airless spray liquid is pumped in this the liquid is pumped at a high pressure 250 to 3000 pounds per square inch goes through a small orifice this is a small orifice 0.009 inch to 0.02 inch in the fluid nozzle which results in finely divided spray this will this fine orifice will uh, result in the finally divided spray the degree of atomization and spray rate are controlled by the fluid pressure orifice size and viscosity of the liquid so fluid pressure size of this orifice and viscosity of the liquid it decides the degree of atomization next is low pressure air atomized systems you can see here liquid feed and also it has duct for the air streams in this the liquid is pumped through somewhat large orifice of 0.02 to 0.06 inches at relatively low pressure pressure is relatively low here here it is 5 to 50 psig whereas in the high pressure it was 250 to 3000 psig the low pressure 10 to 100 psig air contacts the liquid stream at the tip of the atomizer and finally divides a spray so this air will come at the pressure 10 to 100 psig and the liquid is fed at the pressure 5 to 50 psig these both air and the liquid will come in contact at the tip of the orifice and it will cause the uh, finally division of the spray or finally divided spray is produced degree of atomize, uh, atomization in this condition is controlled by the fluid pressure fluid cap orifice viscosity of the liquid air pressure and the air cap design 
Uh, what are the important parameters to be considered in the coating machines? Mostly the perforated coating machines are most widely used in the industry now. The important parameters that are to be considered during the coating process are the air capacity, coating composition, tablet surface area and the equipment effi efficiency. First we will study the air capacity. What is air capacity? This represents the quantity of water or solvent that can be removed during the coating process. Air capacity is the quantity of the water or the solvent that can be removed during the coating process which depends on the quantity of the air flowing through the tablet bed. Next is the coating composition. The coating composition contains the ingredients that are to be applied on the tablet surface and the solvent which act as a carrier for the ingredients. Okay, now these solvents which are used to dissolve the ingredients are essentially removed during the coating process. The inlet air provides the heat to evaporate water. Water is the common solvent used to uh, in the coating solutions. The exhaust air becomes cooler and contains more water owing to evaporation of the solvent from the coating composition. Tablet surface area, the quantity of the tablets needed for the coating has already been considered, it is, al uh, it is to be considered, but the size of the tablets and presence of the deposed features or any identity markings on the tablets also affect the tablet coating. Now in uh, these deposed features or addition of any, any small product identity marking or integrations, it complicates the coating process. So the size of the atomized coating solution droplet, it must be smaller and better controlled to coat these identity markings. Total surface area per unit weight decreases significantly from the smaller to the larger tablets. Now, equipment efficiency, equipment efficiency or uh, the coating efficiency, it is obtained by dividing net increase in the coated tablet weight, net increase in the weight of the tablet after coating by total non-volatile coating weight applied to the tablets. Now, it, it directs that ideally 90 to 95 percent of the applied film coating should be on the surface of the tablets or no wastage of the coating material is to uh, uh, is to be there the coating efficiency for the conventional sugar coating is much less 60 percent is acceptable the coating efficiency mainly depends on the amount of the coating material that collects on the pen wall okay so it mainly depends uh, what amount of coating material is stick or collected on the pen wall but ideally most of the uh, uh, this coating material is to be on the tablet surface only so this is the equipment efficiency okay thank you for your time and attention guys it takes a lots of time for me to make these videos if you like them please appreciate like the video share video and stay connected subscribe to my channel pharma guide thank you